if we stop tax evasion or at least reduce it to the minimum, then we might empower the regulators and empower the, uh, the redistributive branch of the government to uh, actually do its function, to redistribute the wealth. The Coffers Project is, a, is an EU-funded Horizon 2020 project that comprises a consortium of, of nine institutions all around the European Union. And the, the ultimate uh, goal of the project is to empower regulators in combating fiscal fraud. Let's imagine that there is a multinational group of companies, all right? And one of them is in a low-tax country and the other is in a high-tax country. Now, suppose that the, high, the, the company in the high-tax country is able to shift some of its profits into the low-tax country. What we'd like is a measure of how much corporate tax is actually evaded from those high-tax jurisdictions. What we try to model in those high-tax countries is how much tax should actually be paid. And then we compare this number to the, to the tax that is actually paid, the reported one. And the difference between those two is the tax that is actually avoided or evaded. What the government revenue data set provides us with is the baseline number of corporate tax that is actually paid, so that we know, we know how to calculate the difference of what actually should be paid and what is paid. We find that globally around $200 billion is evaded on corporate tax. And this burden falls proportionately more on developing countries, which of course needed more. We see actually a potential solution to this problem, and that is country by country reporting. Which means that if there is a multinational corporation that is operating in multiple countries, it has to report to those government officials or, or tax authorities in those countries how much profit was made in each country. If they did so, then we would know how much tax they should pay in each country. And that would make it harder for them to actually evade the tax. Thank you.